Okay, so then uh, begs the question, uh, what do you guys want to do? Well, uh, uh, Dandy Dandy realizes again, he could do magic. Excellent. Huh, this I, seems uh, like... bounces up and down a bit. So I forget, did I bring up the rain frost before this? One more time? Did I, did I bring up the uh, the booze from Act 1 before this? I don't recall. Well, no. then, let's I assume I didn't. I... Now, this seems like a, it's celebration. I, think. I need to go make something, though. I'll need to uh, get some things from the uh, carriage, and then I'll be back. I need to show Vesper I can- I finally cast a spell! Who's Vesper? My boyfriend. Yeah, who's Vesper? Your boyfriend, you went to his house! That was his house? I thought it was your house. Well, boyfriend. Wait. I mean, it's, it's more like- it's more his house that, you know, it was his house and I guess I was there, you know? Ah, okay. It- it- when, when we got together, I sort of moved in. But speaking of houses, I need to go visit mine. Uh, so, uh, you want us to meet up at your house? Dandy? To celebrate? Uh, isn't uh, Dandy... I don't know. Isn't Dandy's house also like a day's worth of travel away from rain? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, um, I've, I'm actually going to ask Atheus a question. Give me uh -huh. a moment. I mean, as an option. Alright, so just There's to make so sure, there make we go. sure I uh, understand the situation correctly. So Corvine, you're calling for a celebration, correct? Yes. Excellent. Where and... I will bring the rain frost. And no, you are thinking about heading off to your guild to make something, correct? Yep. I, I PM'd you Atheus on Discord. And Dandy, you are thinking about heading back home to show Vesper that you can do magic, correct? Yes. Marvelous. And Amber, is there anything in particular you want to do? Um, okay, then. And um, he's not responding. Yay. Yeah. That's fine. He is not here. Uh, he, he's gone. He has left us. He knew the failure of our mission. It, it's, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guys do those things first. Oh, but I need to answer a question of Corvine, and I can't do that until he oh, actually wait, what? a fashion. I asked if Vesper likes company. Oh. Okay. Um, in the meantime, all right, so I presume then the party basically breaks. Mm. So, so. Forever. So, what, yeah. what would Corvine do uh, This otherwise? is the end of Act 2. <laughs> what would Corvine do otherwise? Ah, uh, you know, I don't really know. She's kind of a hobo right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a carriage. Hmm... Um, well, we... and there is a bar that we're in. I'm going to look up that song. You know, I'll, I'll say that you you can come to Vespers. It, it, I'll, I'll just say that. Okay. You know, right. I'll, I'll bring you with, I'll bring you with Dandy, I guess. Alright, sounds good. Oh! Ha! What? Uh, mm, no, oh. never mind. Oh? Oh, I'm sorry, and Baigong, what are you doing all this? <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take you. Um, I know Baigong has no particular d uh, things that he needs to take care of right now without the group. No, does he... Hmm. Right on. So then does he... The Decide to tag along with one of the group members for the time being, or chill out in the bar? Uh, he'd be content to do either. Uh, he was kind of thinking about getting a drink while he's already here. Alright, fair enough. 
Mm. Can't let Amber and and uh. <laughs> he's a he's no, a, kind of a sailor's honor to uphold. No, he would actually he and he would want him to see that. Actually, I just realized that. So uh, then he's like, oh, 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 Bai Guang, Bai Guang. Mm hmm. I realize you might want to actually see my boyfriend. Not oh. not for anything weird, you know. Just not not <laughs> but like Dude. And, you know what I mean. And this is where I step out. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that, but uh I, I think you would want to see Vesper. You Corvine There's... gives a wink as she leaves. <laughs> Corvine Corvine, don't get get your head Corvine. out of the gutter. Where are you going? <laughs> Corvine, where where are you going? Corvine! 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 Alright, so Corvine, Corvine heads where are you going? Corvine heads to her carriage, correct? Yes. Okay, alright, back to the bar then. Well, Just gonna get a few supplies. Well, I guess Corvine isn't coming anymore. Uh, you're not gonna say you're not gonna wait for that. Um. All right, hey. so Dandy. What uh, we gotta wait till Theus actually messages. Very good. Well, then. So it for sounds... now, drinking. Yes, yeah, so for now, it sounds uh, like Bai Guang and I. I guess Amber are gonna hang out with the. Uh. And... Dandy, do you wish to head straight to Vesper, or do you wish to hang out as well? I'll wait for these two. All right, sounds good. And no, you no, head or off. Or at least to... wait for Corvine, I guess. And no, you head off to your guild, correct? Yes. On my way out, I will give the bartender ten gold. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead and um, focus on you for a little bit then. So you head to your guild. Yep. All right. When you arrive, the the guildmaster is rather relieved to see you. Ah, no, you're back. Yeah, uh, yes, it's been a been a while. Where have you been the past few days? Ah, uh, uh, so many things. Um, hmm. well, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> Well, uh, usually beginning is a good place to start. <laughs> As the song says. Indeed. Um, hmm. Well, we went on an adventure to see the, the, the winter frost. Not, I can't, where are my notes? <laughs> no, no is desperately looking for his notes. <laughs> I have my notes open if you have questions. I... Hold on, let me find my notes, a.k.a. my journal. <laughs> yeah, a.k.a. You know what? Uh, I can't find it now. You can read it in my journal later. <laughs> you can read my journal after I'm dead and no longer care about people finding my secrets. Well, my, my journal is now in the public library. <laughs> um, but no, I actually came here because I have a certain item I need to finish. Oh? Yes, I was working on a new robe. A robe, huh? A robe. Oh. Alright. Well, your your workshop's is the way you left it. A bit of a ah. mess. Perfect, thank you. Nothing moved. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that. Alright, who's been in my workshop now? I was a little bit cleaning, that's all. Look, 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 look. Okay, look, I'm in love with you. No, all right? One well, yeah, of the merchant girls wanted to swing by and say hi and be polite. We showed them how things were working, so we cleaned up a little bit, you know? No big deal. I should be able to find most everything, I think. Am I still going to be able to find the pieces to the mechanical servant I'm working on? Ah. Uh... I'll take that as a no. Uh, 
Okay, I might have been a little tipsy when I cleaned her workspace. Ah, there we, there's the truth. Okay, I'm just going to go work on my robe. That was too much information. Uh, uh, hey, 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 uh, look, look, I, um, look, if you need any parts or place, uh, let me, I'll, I'll build the guild, okay? <laughs> um, so, uh, sorry about that. Ah, it'll be fine. Don't touch my books. Alright, I know. I know how you are, looks. I didn't touch them. <laughs> I really think you should dust them, though. At least a couple of them. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll leave you to it then. Alright. And, mm. uh, I assume that you'll be working on that for the duration? For a little while. Alright. Then the question is assuming that the party in E does go to Vesper's. For party time, will you be joining them? Uh, oh, he's here. Yes, I will be joining them. Alright, sounds good. Then, he, he's, the here. Case, he's here. He's here. Dun dun dun. He's here. So. Oh, and while you guys are at the bar, because this is actually important. Oh. There is information you guys get, you know, because, you know, people at the bar, they're chatting and talking about events and how things have been unfolding. You're going to die in another 30 minutes. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. They have an end of the world party. All right. Well, apparently the, apparently the, the, most, the most recent chat that everyone was talking about is... What happened with House Winterfrost? You know the the crazy fight that broke out, the fire, and all that jazz. And several of the denizens are speculating what this means in the future. You know, are they because near as anybody can tell, there isn't a there's no living Winterfrost left. You know, as it seems that as a result of it, the as far as as far as anybody can figure, there's no one left alive who carries the blood of the Winterfrost. So, you know, does this mean that one of the noble families is gonna is gonna Vanish? Is there another noble family going to step and take in its place? Um, what's going to happen to that plot of land that the Winterfrosts have been holding, that they have been living in for generations? No one's really quite sure what it, what's going on, but you do find out that over the past couple, over the since you guys have been gone, there's been a fair amount of rebuilding efforts. Citizens have been popping in from time to time to offer their help. And they're trying to, well, physically rebuild what was once there. And suffice to say, people suspect there's no longer any real political power there. But it appears that... What's your name? Ellen Thjork, or Ellen. Elin? And was it Elin? Elin, yes. Elin, that sounds slightly more Norwegian. Elin, the... What used to be the head of their guard, has apparently the whole experience has really sobered her up. You know, before she was all about House Winterfrost should rule reign as its as its new monarch, reinstating the monarchy. She was head is really chilled out, and is now focusing on just reestablishing what what once was. No, she hasn't really spoken much about what she's going to do with herself. It appears that most of the focus of those who are left alive are just the immediate future, figuring out you know what are they going to do with themselves. So, despite the, despite what happened to it, it appears that the, and everyone's speculating what's going to happen on a political level, it appears that the city, at least a good, a good portion of it, is coming together to try and lick the wound that has been violently gashed into it. Is this news to smile about? It's sort of a bittersweet thing. Okay, it's, I will smile. It's sort of the... The best that could be hoped for, all things considered. Yes. I will smile as a free action. You may smile as a free action. <laughs> okay. All cool. right. Then we're going to go ahead, if there are no objections, we're going to move on to uh, Vesper's house. Yep. We're, we're going to try to teleport. Okay. Um... Let's just see. Okay. Um, I pick okay. up. Okay. First, 
more than just the level. Before we teleport, is there anything we need? Yes. Danny's like, don't, don't. I assume, do I assume you acquire the, I assume you acquire from your carriage, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, is anybody else grabbing anything before, or doing anything prior to heading to Vespers? Bagwong brings the rum with him. Excellent. Now for the, now for the capital question. Uh, who's going to tell no when you guys are leaving? Um, we were, we were supposed to tell no. Well, I mean, no is busy working on a project. It's not like magically no that you guys are leaving. Oh, um, does anyone, does anyone actually mention this? No, knows all. <laughs> okay, so no, no, no he knows. <laughs> I guess the been... question, really question is when you guys realize you're all ready to go, no is nowhere to be seen. Ah. So the question is, what do you guys do about it? Do you just like, well, off to Vespers, or do you like, well, we should probably find no and let them know that we're. Do Do any of us know, uh, uh, know where his guild is? <laughs> that he might go there. Do we even know that he's part of a guild? We teleport to the. We teleport there, right? No. No. You know? I don't think no. Noah's actually mentioned that he's part of the guild. But didn't we find that guy? It was like some other noble, right? No, that was... That was unrelated. Not Ulam. That's... I think you're thinking of Yoham, who is not, a, who is not a noble. He was a servant to Duke Winterfrost. Oh, okay. And, oh, he okay. Took you, and he took you to his home and said, you know, basically, while you guys are doing this, I'll see what I can find out sort of behind the scenes. And he himself has a teleportation circle in his house. Okay, so are we going to mm -hmm. actually? Is anyone going to tell no, or is anyone going to think of that? Uh, that's, my, that's my question. Are you guys gonna? Are you guys know isn't with okay, you? Okay, so Cormine will mention it, but it's really up to Dandy if we go or oh, not. Oh, and uh, he he's like, oh, uh, you know where he is? No. Well, I, I'm sorry, Clint. I it was uh, I think that was his decision, really. So we're just gonna go. Ah, I'm just gonna do some things and build a thing a level early. It's yeah. fine. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't. I'm just that's just what I would do. If, if I knew where he or if I Wong knew where he was, he'd have Sai Hong carry a message, but yeah. he didn't know where to send Sai Hong. No one knows where no one So let's well, go. You know, I, I'm sorry to say that uh, they can they can leave a message with the bartender in case no comes back to the bar. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yes, does no remember that he forgot his wallet at the tavern? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh I dear! Will... If I, I, that if I left my wallet, that's a hefty amount of money. I tell you, what, I will give you this. No. Roll me an insight check. <laughs> My okay. people need me. <laughs> uh, now I rolled decent. <laughs> My people probably important. <laughs> and then he rushes. So, the flavor... So, basically you start working on it, and you suddenly just get this sort of... I guess the best way to describe it is sort of a feeling. That his people need him. That it's sort of a gut feeling that uh, you've basically run out of time. You know, just as you sit down to really start working, all of a sudden you get this sensation like, I'm out of time. I don't uh, know really why I feel this, but I just really suddenly get the feeling I've run out of time to do this. And it's pretty much a, if I do this now, I'll be ignoring this sensation. Or I can listen to the sensation. One of these days I'll understand this mystic stuff. Just grab my things and go so the expl explanation oh, behind yes. this is 
what I'm sure you guys have noticed, but when you are when you're having conversations with people, there are certain like ebbs and flows. You know, there's just like a, uh, there's like moments where the conversation will like die off for a second and then it'll pick up again. Or when you're visiting people after a while, you'll chat and then there's sort of like this. All right, it's time to go, and everyone's like, "All right, I'll bye," and then sort of depart, kind of thing. And that's more of what this is. You know, yeah. he sort of, he sort of picked, he sort of, his sort of, well, his internal just... clock was kind of ticking, and suddenly realized, like, "Yo, dog, odds are everyone's ready to go, and if you don't go I... now, I'm just going to use the headcan of uh, he got the feeling that his people need him. <laughs> I do wish." And then he okay, just, so, uh, so what did he do about this? That is Hi. So the question is, is... um Get back to the bar. For simplicity's and brevity's sake, and because we have 20 minutes yet, or 20 yes, minutes please. left, uh, let's go ahead and hop over to Vesper's house. So, uh, yeah, so we just say, oh, no, you're here, and then we go. I'll go. <laughs> Are you like, hurry up. Is that is that good? We will say that as you guys are leaving and heading to that should bring up a good question. What teleportation circle are you guys heading to to head back to Vesper's? Vesper's teleportation circle that he has in his house for some reason. Yeah, yes, but specifically need... said that he has it in there. Yes, but you, but which teleportation circle are you going to to get there? It's like um, which train station? Like he doesn't need to. Yeah, I'm not using one. Oh. I'm using the hat. He's got the helmet. And I suppose there's no reason for you guys to ever leave the bar. Yes. No, no came just in time still. Okay. Pretty much. As, 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 we're bar. here! As the group of you are just about to teleport, No walks through the door. And uh, I suppose Amber exclaims, Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh no. Ah, I rush towards them as I see them teleporting away. And, uh, Dan- Danny lets you in. Then <laughs> uh, he lets you in, and we all teleport to the basement. Yay! Yay! We're here. All right. Come into my basement to execute. Uh, Vesper, are you are you here with us? Dun, 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 dun. Vesper, oh, no. Sounded like he was trying to communicate. I heard ah. the sound. He he is lighting up on the Discord. Oh, yeah, like, we can't can hear, hear you. you. We can hear like background noise only like once every ten seconds. I can't even hear that. Okay. Okay. So well, like, twice total. Stuff. Yeah, twice total. <clears throat> I, I, so I, I missed. Uh, what is Amber doing? In the meantime, is she coming along or is she doing something else? I guess she's coming along. No reason not to. Unless I, there is a reason not to. Not yeah, really. Okay. Amber's yeah. coming along to party with the blokes. Amber split the party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Party with the friends, get some karaoke up in here. But, um, party Rock is in the house tonight. Indeed. So I take it. I, I take there's some audio issues on Vesper's yes. side here. Patience. Patience is a virtue, as they say. I need a place to work. That lion is a virtue. I'm. I'm gonna listen to Party Rock Anthem until we start going again. <laughs> Matt's yeah. in my head. Hello. Hi. Oh, hey. Hello. Well, looks Come like on. you can't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> No, no, but that's where you have to go. Back. What? Because, uh, because we need the, uh, we we need to listen Goodbye. to the music. Why oh. you? <laughs> All right. So, the Vesper. Oh. And I'm talking to that. I'm talking to the actual unicorn Vesper here. Uh, you're quiet. You're quietly sitting. Well, I should say, I presume you're quietly sitting. Studying some tombs, uh, when all of a sudden you hear tombs, and feel tombs. Sorry, <laughs> so he was studying some tombs. Sorry, he was like, studying, "Here's the map layout." Studying hmm. some of these tombs, you feel and hear the familiar sensation of the teleportation circle activating in the basement. 
Uh, however, you get the sensation that a bit more power has been used than is normal. You uh, get the suspicion that um, you have guests. And then you hear, Vesper, I'm home! Where are we? <laughs> you, you've We're, been here before, we, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, yes we have. This is... So. I presume you guys headed well, upstairs? Yep, we head upstairs. Marvelous. <laughs> Uh, Vesper, do you have any particular reactions to suddenly hearing a cacophony of voices from your basement? Uh, not really. I put down the book. The tomb. <laughs> the, yes, we're, we're, we're up the tomb. Say, do you example, put down you, the tomb? The tomb. Do you not care? Do you throw your hooves up in the air and start screaming and running <laughs> about? Do you slam your hooves on the table? and cause us all 10 damage? <laughs> Do you scream INSOLENCE and banish them all to the far right? Yes, uh, yeah, you should take, pick that one. Uh, plane yeah. shift that one to a negative energy plane. Oh, so, no. like I said, does Vesper have any particular reaction to the sound of strangers in his house? And one not stranger saying, I'm home. Um, he goes, that goes one's pretty important. The investigate. All right. I, I did say Vesper, yes. I'm home. Well, even so. All right, then, in that case, I presume the party leaves the bank, correct? Uh, if, if presumably. Dandy opens the door, because it's locked. Yeah, I'm, I'm following yeah. Dandy. Yeah, I, I open up the door. Well, I will say that there's a, a nice set of stairs that head down into the basement. Oh. Um, hold on. Hmm. First, uh... I ask Dandy, uh, do your, uh, Vesper, uh, do you think he, it's a good idea to tell him about me? Oh, sure. I'm, I mean, you trust don't, him? don't like bring him, don't put, bring it up right away, but yeah, he, he, he totally won't hurt you. Okay. Well, as the door of the basement is open. Uh, that's where you behold Dandy with a motley group of ungulates behind him. It appears there's some sort of uh, there's a reindeer, an alpaca, a pegasus, and a longma. I think like I'm painting someone. Nope, that's a gone. And standing yep. before the lot, and standing before the lot of you is well, a unicorn. Seriously? Um, would you take the opportunity to describe a unicorn to us? Uh, I, I'm. He's a unicorn. Look, look at a picture. But it's got blue hair. It's got blue hair. That's that's the main difference. Yeah, a little, uh, a little bit of a uh, facial hair. Shit. Yes. So he is a normal. <laughs> he's a regular <laughs> magical unicorn, and as such, he designs a normal installation in detail of the ritual sacrifice. I am normal. Ritual. I am a normal pony. <laughs> Yes. All right. Well, but, uh, the scene is yours, gentlemen uh, and lady. Oh, well, uh, did, he, did you mention oh, he was a unicorn? Uh, but Dan, Danny goes up and is like, "Oh, I've had, I've had like, it, it was like a, it was like a bad day, but it was kind of a good day. It was a great day, you know. I think I'm not sure. I'm glad to see you. I've, I've been getting worried." You received a summons from Duke Winterfrost, and the next I hear, his whole estate is burning to the ground. What happened? Oh, yeah, uh... You can see the smoke from across yeah. the city. Hmm... It may worry you more that we rushed into those smokes when we saw them. Yeah... Yeah, we... We kinda... Well, we are. Well, yeah, we're kind of on a mission to figure out what what's up with that, you know. What did the Duke need from you? We we don't know. He was uh. We. Well, no, it's was... bad. Mm. 
Corvine, uh, you you want to tell him what happened? Oh, uh, well, uh, why, yes. Um, you see, uh, we were called in, and he was telling us about how all of Raiden was in trouble. And then he was killed in front of us. That sounds like a legitimate reason to worry. Mm, yeah, and then, uh, and then he kicked our butts. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, oh, um, I, I'm sure, uh, you, you, I'm sure you saw the, the blood stain in my, in my little room. Yes, and I noticed some healing supplies were missing. That, yeah, that uh, was me. Mm hmm. I, I kind of brought these guys here before. You weren't here, apparently. You know, I didn't know what else to do. Well, I have no, no issues with that. If it was to get you out of trouble, out of danger. Yeah. <sighs> and, uh, well, we've had quite a few things happen, I guess. We'll, we'll talk about all this. We can, we can talk all about all this over some uh, over some dinner, I guess. Or it's not even di it's lunchtime. Well, at this point, it's probably getting on towards you know late afternoon. So uh, it, it's it's like lunch. Is it lunchtime? Corvine, Corvine pulls a uh, a bottle out of a uh, out of a bag or something. <laughs> all right. It's the bottle of rain frost. Some mighty fine booze right there. I brought this to celebrate. Celebrate what, exactly? Uh, oh, right. Oh. Um. And then D Dandy at this gets a little giggling smile. And, uh, and, what, hang on, I have a, qu I have a question, uh, l let me look up the spell, let, let me look, so let me look up the spell. Okay. Oh, it is, uh, yeah. So, you guys, all, all of you, everyone except Vesper sees Dandy mouth, mouth a couple words. You, you cannot read his lips on this. You don't know what he says. What what Vesper hears is a small whisper in Lux Orati or how, however you say it. Lux Orato, I think. Talk. I don't Lux know how to speak. I don't uh, speak I can I, don't... I can Latin if I can find the language again. Yeah, I, I have but, he, own, so. but he whispers in that I love you. Ah. Lux or Ratio. You, but what is... Yes. He, he whispers that to, to Vesper in a message. Wait, in, in this, this spell message? Which is... The oh. spell message. Well, that does require allowing you to do that, right? What? No, not in 5e. Oh. Oh, yep. Okay, you're right. Not in 5e. Yeah. So, um, and how does Vesper react to this? That that his boyfriend finally figured out how to magic. Do I need to do a spellcraft check? <laughs> uh, if you want, you can make an Arcana check. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not magicking. <laughs> you're you're faking it somehow. It's but ventriloquism. Yeah, that's what to do. Yep. But actually, since we're asking, yeah, go ahead and give me. You, you cut out. Give you a what? Oh. Or an, or an arcana check, if you would. I'm pretty sure everyone Vesper. with arcana, arcana can also do that to recognize what actually happened. Well, for now, I just want Vesper. For now, I just want Vesper to meet. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes. Why do you ask to roll? 
You're not making magic. <laughs> That's impossible. Wow, Dandy, you got really good at Fentrell. Well. <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, yeah, the fact that he just used magic just kind of... It just like... I mean, that was sweet. Maybe um, magic is such a mundane thing for you that you just didn't even think about the fact that he isn't a mage. Like, it's... Basically, long story short, to you, it just... You don't realize it was a magical message. It just sounded like he whispered it. That's the long and short of it. You, you do not even realize there's any magic in the air. That... If we must find an explanation, let us say that the... Because using a teleportation circle to teleport this many individuals does require quite a lot of power. There's probably a little bit of overhang left in the air. Yes. Dan, so... Danny's like... He's waiting for... Uh... He's waiting for, like, a reaction. By Guang, you do sense a small surge of magic coming from Dandy. Precisely what he's doing, uh, you don't know, but... And... And Clint knows exactly what's happening. Yeah, yeah, Clint... Clint basically pulled a, 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 a spy network and totally knows exactly what that message was, what it yes. said, who it went from, where it to, exactly how you did it. Like, he basically picked up on it perfectly without even Dandy realizing that he picked up on it. Oh. But, uh, Corvine, uh... you, again, recognize that he cast a spell of some kind, but exactly what spell, you don't know. So, um... Uh, Vesper. Yes. If it wouldn't be rude to ask, um, can can you teach me? Teach you? What exactly? The dandy's waiting for a response. Of dandy's like realize. Oh wait, he didn't realize what I did. At this point, like Dan dandy is a little bit confused on why Vesper didn't even understand. Didn't didn't pick up on that. I I believe uh, Vesper asked a question to teach you. Hmm? Someone asked Vesper a question. Wait, who was the last one that responded? Um, okay. Oh, I... You know... M magic? But we, we also... Guys, we didn't res resolve that conflict. The, uh, we, we didn't resolve the uh, thing of like Dandy waiting for a response from Vesper. Indeed, we have not. And we, we'll have. Like, and, it's and, like. And it it appears we'll have to wait a moment as uh, yes. Vesper and Corvine have struck a conversation. Um, you know, ma magic. Oh, that's a fairly broad subject. Is there anything specific you'd like to know? Um. Anything. I'd gladly assist you if there was something specific you'd like to learn. But if you've had no prior experience, then we may need to narrow it down a little bit. I'll have to think about that. I don't know too much about magic to be able to decide that. Also, I don't think we've been introduced yet. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. I... I'm getting confused because this is the second time I've met a unicorn. Have you visited near the woodlands? Uh, no. Anyway, uh, I'm Corvine. And I'm Vesper, as you've probably already been told. Vesper Iris. Anybody else but wish to... You, uh... you understand why we're s celebrating, right? Not entirely. You... You, you didn't... You didn't get... You didn't get the... <clears throat> message? Message? <clears throat> hint, hint, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. He does magic! Hint, hint, cough, cough, wink, wink! <laughs> Exclamation point! Is, is that actually what he's saying? Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> well, we'll say everything but the estimation point because that seems a bit. Well, it is your character. Just no. Are we going to judge? judge? <laughs> so yes, it appears that the Pegasus, who is. Uh... So are you? Were you fixing to exit the house or? Actually, yes, I was going to exit the house. Your truck. Oh, there you go. No. He appears, okay. near, he appears to be near the front door. Uh, sorry, just sort of coughs at. Well, you heard what he coughed. Everyone heard what he coughed. He wasn't being very <laughs> discreet about it. You can wait. When did this happen? We we're, we were practicing that. It's like I I never got it. You know, I I kept looking at your books, and it's like, well, like just recently today, I I just I just got. Well, I just kind of got. Well, just, let's how. Let's basically just. You see, ah, uh, how do I, how to explain this? That we were in a somewhat stressful situation. Maybe that pushed oh, him. Yes. Gave him the push. I have heard, heard that that can happen. Yeah, it's like I, I felt like I needed to do something. There was this person. I needed to find them, and I just. And I just well. I didn't even realize I was doing it at the time, but it's just... They, they turned blue. They turned blue. It's, it, it's like... They, they glowed. And it's like, I, I, I knew I knew where they were. It's just like, I, I felt like... It felt... It, it was a weird feeling. Wait, that, that spell! That... I, I remember that. You... I I remember seeing it when I was looking at this before. That's uh that's that's fairy fire. Fairy fire. That's the one. <laughs> fairy fire is actually not on the wizard spell list. It's kind of funny. That's kind <laughs> yeah, of amusing, I, know. Actually. I was just looking it up. <laughs> yep, that's uh that is actually kind of amusing. I, I guess it's, it's supposed just, to be a nature spell. I I I get I figured it out, Vesper. I I can do magic. Well, everyone learns in their own way. They have their own methods. I'm happy you finally found one that works for you. And <laughs> uh, really, just it, I'm I'm just so happy about this. <laughs> yes. You know, I I just had to tell you. And, uh, well, well, I brought these guys along mostly, well, mostly because I, I want to celebrate, but, uh, well, I knew someone, I knew you had some answers for, uh, a certain someone, and he, uh, glances over at Bai Guang. Bai, Bai Guang is still just staring at Vesper. Because this also is only the second unicorn he's ever met. They come in twos. <laughs> they like master, master, and apprentice. I, I see. We our minds went the same place. So, uh, yeah. Um, I might also want some answers. Hey. Though those will require me telling you something that might be alarming at first. <laughs> it's also cold. That's important to know. I mean, it's part of the description. Oh, hey, look, you're describing things. Yep. Yes. So, uh, how does pe how do people respond? Uh, to which thing? Anyone. Yes, um... Uh, mostly no. I mean, not, no. Uh, mostly, uh, uh Vesper. Vesper or Bai Guang or anything? Mostly Vesper. Oh, well, I'd be happy to yes. go over with with all of you in due time. and It doesn't need to be right this moment. Yes. Yeah, we, we've we all got... Yeah, we, we... This is reason to celebrate, you know? So, was... Was everyone summoned by Winter Frost? Is that how you met? Mm -hmm. Everyone here. 
Yes. You uh, you guys notice that uh, no seems to have slipped outside. Wait, uh, what? Oh no! Where do you where do you go? Yeah, where did the Pegasi go? Yes, there's a lovely little stream. So many Pegasi just disappeared. Great Pegasus disappearance. So. Are we going to keep talking or are we going to start drinking? When you realize that you're muted. Oh. (laughs) Oh no. Oh no. So why is the character that is cackling with lightning more sneaky than the... I I can't English. No, 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 I'm laughing evilly. Yes, he's laughing with lightning. It's force lightning. He's palpitating, basically. Out of some fairness, you... Out of some fairness, there was a conversation happening when you stepped outside. So it appears that your exit wasn't inherently noticed, unless, of course, those who are not involved in the conversation, such as, say, Amber or Baigwong, wanted to say or do something. Baigwong notices nothing. Very good, then. He's, he's staring at the unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> he still so. can't believe that there's a unicorn in front of him. And speaking of which, now that he's been, I guess, more addressed, well, well maybe not. Um, so... Then, uh, my the unicorn favorite. hasn't addressed him. His name has been said. This is true. Uh, then... Shall we go ahead and segue into a, uh, celebration, then? Yeah. Yay! Are there any particular objections? I object okay. to this union. Oh, hold on. No, you must forever hold your peace. Sure, oh, sure, we'll okay. have the celebration first. And then I'll, I'll do my stuff. Was there something you wanted to address or talk about? Oh, you do not party yet. now business leader. Party now business leader, yeah. Fair enough. Basically. All right, then we're going to go ahead and... and that seems a good note to leave off on for a while. Then we pick up. Unicorn. When we pick up, we'll, uh... So I'll need to figure out how to ask for rituals without knowing what rituals are. Cool. Fair Just go, go book book by book. Right on, then. This spell? You want to learn this spell? <laughs> yeah. I have many things for you to learn. Which one do you want to know? That sounds fun. What are you buying? Books! There are books everywhere. Read all the books. Uh, I, like I mean, say, I could say, ask for a very specific thing, but we haven't seen his familiar yet, true. so... Yeah, and I know what, 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 you're, what you uh, really did. I'll just sell you all my spindles, please. Thank you. Honey? Oh, Resume. What a fun game. Um, alright, thanks, uh, thank you, Matthias, for popping in. Uh, sorry, sorry for not being prepared. It's, it's okay. It's uh, well, don't, don't worry. It, it, yeah, it worked with the character because you shouldn't be prepared <laughs> for this. Exactly. Right. Well, that's uh, time for Christmas Bye. break. Time for celebration you. and happiness. I like that adorable little vest. Seriously. Like that what? Vest. The cutest little vest. Look at that. Adorable little yeah. vest.